Good morning, everybody. This is Dan Hussey with ElgoDayTrader.com bringing you a special uh, report or uh, video here that we are going to be doing over covering the dollar yen, <coughs> Aussie dollar, Aussie yen, and euro dollar larger time frames, um, as well as some trading setups and opportunities we've seen um, in the upcoming uh, upcoming uh, probably few weeks. Um, some are shorter time frame setups, uh, others we're already in, and, and then in the cases of the Aussie dollars, they are very likely very much longer term and have to have a wider horizon. So with that being said, I want to begin with the euro dollar, and I want to step all the way out to um, a weekly chart. And in this weekly chart, we're looking at all-time price action, basically from the 2000 October of 2000 lows to April of 2008 highs. It was after these these highs in 2008 that the market pulled back and we've been holding the 121.22 level. This is very simply the 50% long from all-time lows at an 82.06 to all-time highs at a 160.38. Okay? Um, so the market uh, the market has been flagging and has held um, has held this 120 122 support level and has not invalidated the 111 98 because that's actually where it would invalidate is below 112 $1 12 would invalidate this this full long and and while above 120 uh, well while above 112 dollar twelve we ultimately have very long term price objectives at the one seventy eight eighties. I mean this is a this is a huge level. This would take years, if not decades, to achieve. You can see the rally from, you know, two thousand one to two thousand eight, which is approximately the same, you know you know not approximately, it's closer, you know, to give you a kind of a an idea of the price of how long you know it would take price to get to that profit objective um, you know it took four years um, the last time we rallied off flows to find a top and rally about the same distance um, so this could take you know a very long time to play out, and that's one of those things I want to, you know, kind of point that out and uh, make everyone aware um, of this. Just one of this very large, long time, long term uh, setup on the euro. Now we can take it down to our daily chart. And on this daily chart, we have a lot kind of drawn up here, but um, we're looking at from our prior swing highs to lows, a 135 short still holding. And this line down here is, uh, you know, we were, we were basically on this, this chart, you're looking at price action right here. You're just looking at, whoops, you're just looking at price action, you know, from 2010 on in this area. So this is that the long that has held at the 121.20s. It's this is a rough pull, so it's not exact, but 10 pips is darn close enough for that size of a pullback. Um, anyway, um, the full short off the swing trade high at the 135s is still holding, but against it we have held a full long, and then inside this level we broke shorts. In other words, we invalidated a 618 line from our prior swing highs to lows. You can see the 618 line having broken right here um, on 619. And after breaking, uh, really broke a second time then, more solidly made a new high. After breaking on 820, the market pulled into a full halfway back long, drawn from the prior lows to highs and this was an ambush long and this was the trade we took we bought 
you know, a front run of the 131 handle. Um, the exact setup, probably best viewable on a four hour time frame. Uh, bought 13104s. And this is some, this is a, pretty much the method, the major, the methodology to our madness is when we get in the position um, at the 50% line, we look to take, um, we use the 6 to 1 8 line as our stop. So that means where our stops were, you know, below 130, 20. And the distance between our entry point and our stop uh, is very important to us because we utilize a method of reducing risk and getting free. So we take that same distance and we look to take you know, our first profit objective we take a first target at that same distance and that same distance happens to be the 38.2 line so we get into position like we in this case we bought four four lots we took two off at our first target our stop down below the 6 to an 8 line for the remaining two units is now net net the balance would be free if we were stopped off we wouldn't take any a, a loss and the rest can ride up into you know the 136 targets which we have a ways to go still but uh, most importantly we are running into a 50% short but also we are flagging you know an, a, an extension long that could you know has the potential to run us through and break at the 13320 so and next, if, if we could do get a nice push higher in the euro, um, we're going to be looking for 133.20s to break, and then we can pull up the full halfway back long, the full ambush, and look for that to trade. But I wanted to go over the setup and the long we actually got into, and why we're in that long. And it's, um, you know, basically because one, we know we're in this major long, two. Inside that major long, we've pulled into that major long that I'm referring to as our, you know, weekly or monthly trend. But we've also pulled into a daily long that is holding and has flagged the 50% line. And then, you know, inside that still, we've pulled into a 50% long and gotten reactions on you know all three of these time frames and you can kind of see them all together here um, the trade we actually got in on the larger daily setup that uh, we are trading in the direction of and the much larger weekly setup that we're trading in the direction of so there's a there's a good chance that this could be the setup that takes the euro you know pushes it up into the 140 area and um, I would like to have a piece of our current trade on for that move you know I want I want to see if we can't get a thousand pips out of this maybe more because a rally up into the 140s there really isn't any resistance um, in my opinion until this one uh, 149 150 area where we have held resistance technically um, ever since 2008 the first major here we go the first major rally in the euro hit this resistance the next time up in 2009-10 we hit that resistance again the next time up in 2011-12 we hit that resistance again and now that we've come up off of you know a similar you know kind of support area at the very least we're looking for the euro to travel back up inside of what could be a larger range or has proven itself as a range at the very least
right, moving on. The I'm going to skip the Aussie US dollar for now and go right to the Aussie yen because the Aussie yen is another one of our charts that has a long-term view that is staggeringly apparent. So, looking at, again, we've, we've looked at this many a time over the last few weeks, but it's important to look at. It's important to know. Um, there was an initial full pullback, and this pullback really occurred um, after the full shorts from 2008 highs to 2009 lows broke. So once we punctured the 6 to an 8 line right here, you could immediately draw up that ambush long. You could have. And uh, nevertheless, the Aussie yen traded that long to its target. The next in the series now would be from entry lows to target highs, and we're we're talking about a you know a 72 low to highs here at the 105 figure and we have traded into the 50 full 50 percent long the next in the series not only have we traded into it but we've actually broken shorts against it and we find ourselves in a situation where a, a 50 percent pullback now drawn from these entry lows to these you know highs at 93 or wherever um, this type of pullback um, could be bought and let's go down to a small M frame. Perfect. So this four hour time frame, you can see that, that larger long right here, this white line. Um, coming off of prior highs, we had a you know series of shorts that eventually broke out of target. Drawn from the ninety six, you know, oh five, anchored a low. We traded extension once to target same anchor new low traded immediately um, thereafter and then flagged for the entire month of July and has gone to target same anchor new low um, has now broken so that has failed the series of four hour shorts against this major long and now we are looking for the full pullback drawn from an 86.40 to 93 half highs. That's the 90 level is a major long level. It's uh, an ambush log in the direction of our larger swing and it's the type of longer term setup that I have personally been waiting for and looking and watching for for a long time now. I can't tell you how long we've been talking about this. Um, doesn't have to pull back that far, but if it does, we're ready for it. Okay. Going down to 15 minute chart here. Um, show you why this there's a 15 minute extension, however, that continues to hold and continue the market rallying. So we were in extensions prior. Uh, we went into new extensions. We traded entry. Um, prior extensions traded. We actually gapped up two targets. Now, same anchor, new high. Never trades. Which means we need to 
the the prior trade is actually breaking out. It's gone two targets, and without trading into the next in the series, it is blown out of targets now. So we would be drawing an extension from the highs of the prior trade to new highs, which leaves us with the 9260s, which is where we are looking to get long the Aussie N in the near term, you know, for that move up to the 94 target. If it breaks, if we do go through, it's all the way down to 90s. You know, it's not a place to sell without a reversal setup, which we would draw. If we do break, we would be drawing from the 93.60 high to you know lows for the potential short. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. The important thing is we have a valid extension long looking for that pullback. If it fails, we have a much larger long to participate on and potentially micro shorts on the way to it. Okay. And lastly, dollar yen. Stepping out to a daily chart, we can clearly see an ex extension long that has We can excuse me. We can clearly see an extension long that has created a triangle consolidation pattern. Um, lots of people are talking about this, which is why I was initially so skeptical of it, and I still am skeptical of it because triangles have a tendency to not be very apparent until their very, very end, until the E wave is complete. And while this triangle could technically be complete, um, because we have technically broken trend line resistance now support. That's that upper trend line. Um, going down to an hourly chart, it's important to know that where that trend line resistance broke, when it came back for a retest, um, it also happened to be the long drawn from a 96.83 anchor to highs. A next in the series long because the prior um, the prior long went to target. We have upside targets of a 101 from this 98.53 and uh, going down to the you know, hourly of the 15 minute chart now. Yeah, 15 minute chart. We are we witnessed a full long trade, two targets. Next to the series drawn from a 99.30 anchor to highs is a valid next to the series traditional. And that's actually the you know, trade I'm looking to take is this next to the series after having traded one to target. Next to the series happens to be a retest of the 100 level. So it's like a retest of, of um, what do you call it, psychological support, of the big 100 figure and ultimately um, continuing higher from there would take should take us to that 101 target. Alright everybody, um, it's actually kind of all I have for you right now. It's, it's kind of been a bit of a slow um, slow start to the uh, London session here and um, I just wanted to highlight those three Take a look at you know longer time frame for two of those charts, and um, go over not only trades we've had but some potential trade setups that I, we see. So uh, have a great day, and we'll be back with you as price action develops.